Well, what a game we have in store for you today. The hype has been building all week and the fans are pouring into the stadium. The tension palpable. Stay tuned. We'll have all the action for you live here on EA TV. And good evening on what is a perfect night for football. The floodlights shining down on the players as we speak. I'm Derek Ray, your match commentator, and alongside providing all the tactical and technical analysis, it's Stuart Robson. And excited to be bringing you match day one action at the Euros. It's Germany, and they take on Scotland. Well, you have to be consistent in these group games. You can't afford to have an off day, otherwise you're out the running before you know it. Anticipating a really good game, though, Derek. Hope we're not disappointed. Here's the starting lineup for Germany. Manuel Neuer stands between the posts. Antonio Rudiger plays alongside Jonathan Tah in central defense. And in this tactical setup, they have just the one player in attack. Here's how Scotland will line up. Well, it's a very defensive system which doesn't allow them to press the ball high up the field. So they need to stay compact, win back possession, and then counter-attack from there. It's not going to be easy, though. is underway Callum McGregor it's with McTominay Lyndon Dykes well they stopped them in their tracks Gundogan Scott McTominay and now with McGinn well you never quite know who's going to dominate a game in advance but I think you can maybe make an argument for this fellow Stuart what do you think we'll see from him today I would describe him as majestic when he's playing at his best he glides past defenders he's got that ability to run with the ball into open space he can pick out a pass he can wriggle out of tight situations he's the most creative player on the field today Not forcing the issue. Great composure. Well, making considerable progress with the ball. Corner awarded. Fired over by Kroos. And it wasn't taxing for the keeper. So Germany get the tournament underway on home soil. Scotland their first opponents, then Hungary and Switzerland. And Julian Nagelsmann, this young tactical innovator, 
is the man Germany are pinning their hopes on, Stuart. Well, he is, but he's got a very difficult job at the moment because Germany haven't played well in the run-up to this tournament. They haven't played well for quite some while, but they have a great record. They go right back to 1972 when they beat the Soviet Union in Brussels. A great tournament, great teams. Can they do it this time? They've got the home support. I'm not sure they're good enough, though. Just wasn't going to part with the ball. But just like that, possession changes hands. Christie. Here's McGregor. Germany have it back now. Musiala. Well, you've got to savour such moments. He has time to play it over. And there it breaks down, but credit to the defence. And pressing from the front. Scott McTominay. Aaron Hickey. Porteous. It's with McTominay. Jack Hendry. Scott McTominay, Ryan Porteous, Aaron Hickey, Lyndon Dykes. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Musiala. It's with Gundogan. Promising move from Germany. A genuine opportunity but it was squandered goal kick well such as the lot of an attacking player some days it works for you on other days not at all Stuart well as the touch map shows us he hasn't been getting into the right areas to cause damage he's such a good player around the box but not today he's been disappointing Foul there, free kick awarded. Jack Hendry. He'll be delighted to have won the ball having made that difficult challenge. If you're wondering about stoppage time, one minute to be added on. John McGinn. And there it is, the half-time whistle. Well, he was one of them. Underway then in the second half. And the two teams matching each other just about stride for stride. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Lyndon Dykes. Now with Ryan Christie. Just the challenge that was required. Wirtz. And Havertz. Musiala. Germany pushing forward with options available. Well, nothing for them to worry about in the end. Good defending. Cara McGregor. On to McGinn. Have they got to stop him? Inside he goes. And in the right position to read it. That's the kind of shielding play you expect from him. Ta. Musiala and Havertz 
Jamal Musiala. Commitment to passing and attacking. Gundogan. Joshua Kimmich. Andri. Tony Kroos. Determined defending. McGinn. Aaron Hickey. Porteous. Hickey. Twenty minutes to go in this one. Kai Havertz. Still passing it around with authority. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Can he find the right pass? Good work from Germany to win it back. Oh, superb skill. Kai Havertz. And they need to get tighter. Lorian Wirtz. Shot attempted. Shot blocked, but still alive. Well, nothing comes of it. Well, the fans are going mad here. They think that was a penalty. Well, that's how to dispossess your opponent. Joshua Kimmich. Lorian Wirtz. And given the situation, a goal at this stage might well turn out to be a winner. Five minutes left. Tierney. Here's Robertson. Kieran Tierney. Well, good run and good ball control. Stoppage time situation. One minute here. Andri. Gundogan. And that is that. The full time whistle here. And nothing to separate the two sides at all over 90 minutes. It finishes nil nil. Stuart, your take. Well, Derek, I was expecting more from both teams. You certainly can't criticize the effort, but there was a real lack of creativity and goal. Neither side did enough to win the game. Well, to give an honest appraisal of his performance, doesn't look as though he's really been at it, Stuart.